I'm Mark Unger, producer of Roundtable. Because we find this presentation so special, we really would like for you to see this. Please watch. Good evening, and welcome to a uh, single shot at Manhattan's Neighborhood Network Roundtable. Tonight we will be talking about uh, a little bit different form of art, art of thinking. Every artist uh, in their career essentially trying to achieve two things. One, uh, to be successful artistically, basically to create something that artist him or herself would enjoy and believe is good art, and uh, to uh, be successful in terms of career basically create art that will be liked, enjoyed, and essentially bought by others. And uh, it's a pretty tough task, I can tell you that. We have uh, many people who tried and very few who succeeded. And uh, people blaming it on a uh, crazy market going on there. So, uh, some blame it on luck, some just saying, um, well, I guess I wasn't meant to be. But uh, tonight we have a person who seems to see the order in this madness and uh, be able to actually uh, help with understanding how to approach themselves as a person and their art in the right way to essentially be more successful as an artist and to uh, just have better life. Olga Zbarski, thank you very much for joining us. Thank uh, you for having me. <laughs> thank you very much for being with us. And uh, uh, incidentally, also a very success successful artist who created uh, some very special work, not photographically, but still in the direction of visual art. So we probably will uh, get to talk a little bit about it later. So Absolutely. let's start from alpha and omega of creativity, probably the driving force that created this universe and uh, keeps it going. I said created for a reason, because that is creativity. And as I understand, uh, all your studies and all of uh, this beautiful collection of creative thinking we see on the table is actually about creativity, essentially. Absolutely. Correct? Yes, uh, once again, uh, hello, everyone. And thank you for inviting me for this wonderful program. I will be delightful to answer all your questions. Uh, and yes, creativity, I would say, is just like you said, uh, is the base for everything. And in our rapidly changing contemporary world, I would say it's also a mechanism for survival. Because every day we wake up and every day we find something new, new technology, uh, new transportation, uh, new computers, new cars. So our mind is supposed to be mentally and emotionally fit in order to adjust to uh, this rapidly changing environment. And creativity with uh, its originality, fluency, elaboration, uh, flexibility, postpone judgment, and so on and so on can help. Uh, you seem to actually uh, have a much broader definition of what creativity itself, because normally when somebody says, oh, creative, they're thinking about just drawing something that nobody <laughs> drew before. I mean, <laughs> that's our modern vocabulary. So how do you define creativity and what it means uh, to you and uh, to all those techniques you actually uh, creating? I see creativity as a practice for unrestricted imagination and original thoughts. I see creativity as creating something new and original, as being able to adjust your mind and the way you think and uh, to um, new thoughts, to new uh, conversations, to new people, to new places. Um, and uh, when you feel uh, mentally and emotionally fit when you are able to elaborate new ideas based on bits and pieces and some aha moments, uh, it means you will uh, definitely succeed because according uh, to enormous amount of studies, creativity predicts success more than IQ. Well, I <laughs> definitely been witness of uh, both of those being essential and 
uh, incidentally sometimes non-essential for the success, but I definitely agree with you that without creativity, especially in creative field, when you're creating something that should in the end of the day be appreciated by people or just one person who would finally want to have it in their house, it's definitely what uh, defines it. So how, since we're talking about photography, let's uh, take photographer and Photogra uh, artist photographer as mm -hmm. an example, how creativity would work in order to help a uh, photographer, let's start with uh, creating better, more engaging art, uh, mm -hmm. the one that will be more appreciated by the artist himself and uh, his spectators. Well, uh, one of the important component of creative uh, thinking is perception, the art of perceiving and the art of seeing. So if you are not able to uh, see certain things in a different way, you would never be able to uh, make great choices, come up with uh, original ideas, uh, make great decisions. Uh, same uh, in photography. I think in the past, photography has started uh, more than uh, science, I would say, than uh, a visual art. And even people that uh, were, um, you know, uh, well-known fathers of, of photography, I would say they refer to themselves more as scientists and uh, engineer, engineers and uh, so on. But um, nowadays in our contemporary society, uh, we perceive photography as a visual art, or I would say uh, art of story storytelling because um, if you have your uh, unique uh, uh, perspective and uh, you see uh, a very uh, simple uh, object or a thing in a way that no one else sees and you can give someone this gift of seeing uh, this uh, traditional uh, thing, uh, see it from a different angle, I think um, it's a great deal. Uh, you boost someone's uh, imagination. You help someone to come up with uh, new uh, ideas, to create new connections are not connected. So if you are a true artist, if you are a true photographer, you can look from this uh, unique and different angle and show the world uh, the beauty of a simple thing and let everyone to enjoy it in a different form. So I think that's what uh, defines a creative uh, photographer. Well, it's already a life-changing uh, perspective, and uh, I am fascinated how you put it some pretty complex things uh, in a simple and concise form. So basically, uh, let me uh, see if I understood what you were saying correctly. You're talking about uh, connecting two things that are not visibly connecting in order to create something new, and uh, that's essentially the core of creativity and aesthetics in a way. Uh, I would definitely agree with that, even though I didn't think about it this <laughs> way before, but uh, uh, the logical question would be, uh, is it possible to train this quality? Because that seems to be much more scientific, much more measurable uh, quality and approach. So. I would imagine that you have ways of uh, training them. Oh, absolutely. If we're talking about photography, and I'm not a professional photographer, but dealing with creativity and dif de dealing with uh, different characteristics of creativity and methods, how to boost uh, mm -hmm. those characteristics and make them your own, uh, we always uh, tell people, uh, try to find someone uh, who fascinates you, let's say a greatest uh, photographer, and try to read as much as possible about this person and try to borrow this person's identity. Try to see the world the way this person, uh, um, you know, sees or uh, uh, used to see the world. Try to think the way this person used to think. Also, I would encourage every uh, photographer um, to take risks, um, not to get scared of experimenting because, uh, you know, maybe it's not going to work. And I know that um, uh, some uh, great photographers used to say the first uh, 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 
uh, 100 or even 1,000 shots uh, will not work for you. But after that, you will start to uh, you know, grasp what you need to grasp, and you will get used to it, and you will start seeing things that uh, no one um, sees. So this way, you can really take a simple uh, shot um, uh, beyond um, you know, just uh, regular vision and uh, regular um, perception. So also, I would say, add uh, some concept to it, add some emotions to it, uh, bring some meaning to it. So. Um, um, photography uh, obviously uh, deals with uh, light, so you need to bring, you know, this uh, lights and learn how um, uh, or understand how lights simply either uh, uh, bring out or destroy certain lines and shapes and forms and colors and dimensions. Lighting indeed is essential of photography, and uh, your uh, thought about experimenting was actually one that I find one of the most important ones. Photography, on one hand, was all created by experiment, but on the other hand, it's uh, at the moment, uh, believe it or not, one of the most rigid medias with the most strict rules and strict understanding what photography should be, and uh, that's uh, in a way resistance of the old school to a uh, plethora of new opportunities that came into life with new technology. And uh, right now, uh, there is room for experimenting bigger than it ever been before. But uh, let me ask you this. Uh, your visual art is, as I understand, uh, some uh, very interesting mixture of art in terms of aesthetics and science. It's not just, uh, its purpose is not just to create something beautiful to look at or even to generate some mood, which is most of the art pieces create, but to achieve a certain purpose, basically to uh, make a certain uh, mindset to be implemented at the viewer's mind. So It calls Mind Booster Art, and uh, it's a mixture of uh, colors, shapes, patterns, textures, dynamics, um, different characteristics that uh, can uh, maximize and uh, optimize your uh, creative potential, can uh, make you calm down if you experience uh, some kind of anxiety, uh, or can uh, help you to concentrate and focus if you're in your office and during the day. Uh, you need some energy, so obviously uh, colors and certain shapes and again overlapping and uh, all this dynamic will uh, uh, set your mind uh, for a certain mood. So another part of uh, my artwork is uh, making uh, oversized uh, artwork uh, from semi-precious stones. So again, uh, I use natural characteristics of uh, amazing uh, semi-precious stones, and I also uh, use uh, my knowledge on how, again, uh, color, shape, texture, uh, dynamic, uh, certain um, uh, waving lines and uh, overlapping lines and uh, uh, other characteristics uh, maximize or uh, boost um, your emotional response.
pretty great. And uh, the, uh, since we started talking about this, uh, I think we can explore a little bit uh, the other direction in which uh, the right mindset is very important, especially for visual artists. Not just uh, achieving what they're trying to achieve uh, artistically in terms of aesthetics, in terms of creating the art, but also creating uh, a piece that would be successful commercially in the end of the day. And as I understand uh, what uh, you're helping people to do, <laughs> not just in artistic field, but virtually in every field, including running now, uh, is uh, exactly that, helping them to achieve their day-to-day -day goals, to basically formulate them and create a path of achieving it. So <laughs> can you tell me more how <laughs> the magic Thank happens? You. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, I do a lot of presentations. I present at national and international conferences, as well I communicate with uh, my reader uh, through my books and textbooks and uh, uh, articles and blogs and I always encourage people it doesn't matter they are visual artists or healthcare providers or teachers uh, or engineers uh, everyone uh, just um, uh, Try to change um, the pattern of thinking. You create your own box based on your own limitations or based on your own perception of your own limitations. And that's why people, uh, when they grow up, they stop believing. And uh, they um, are able to, um, uh, you know, get amused by or be amused or stay amused by simple things. And that's what keep them going. And that's why they are so original. Um, and uh, they uh, don't have this box just yet. They didn't build it. And unfortunately, uh, when they, you know, when we um, get older, we start creating our own box. We think that uh, we cannot do certain things or we are not good at public speeches or we cannot paint or we cannot draw or we cannot do photography or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we need to remember that self-esteem and self-confidence as well as self-determination are very important components of success. Also, new perspective. So when you're able to take a new perspective on uh, every day life, on every little thing in your life, so then you will come up with new ideas. Uh, also, self awareness is very important for anyone and in order to uh, develop a richer and better imagination I always recommend everyone to surround yourself with um, not successful but creative interesting people people that inspire you also traveling is a great uh, deal and a great technique because you get exposed to different places different people different languages and obviously your mind has to adjust adjust and uh, once your mind get into this more flexible mode of adjustment that's when you are ready to create uh, great ideas and so on oh, it's definitely the most interesting does crossing the river to Jersey can count as absolutely <laughs> yeah uh, but let me ask you about this I mean <clears throat> maybe the reason why I'm asking it is Part of the problem you was just describing, but I do believe that those boxes, they do exist for a reason. People uh, create them. I uh, uh, agree with everything you say, but there are certain uh, great techniques to help it as well. Try not to be scared of any mistake that you make along the way. Try to perceive everything you do as one more step towards your victory. And try to perceive it as your learning experience. So I just wanted to conclude uh, this conversation with uh, something uh, very concrete. If you would try to uh, put it together in some concise form, basically a program for somebody who already tried and failed and uh, failed again and yet again and still wants to try but probably don't have enough patience to do that. How uh, a person can deal with that? Because that's exactly what happens with a lot of artists. Uh, becoming a successful artist is a long and very a uh, rocky road to take and uh, many people just starting to feel that they just can't continue anymore and uh, even if they have all this valid advi advi advisory they just can't so 
what a person should do in this case? Well, in this case, sometimes it's good to step back and reevaluate everything that you have been doing thus far and reevaluate re re those reasons why you think that uh, you did not achieve what you plan or wanted to plan to achieve. So sometimes it's good to switch between, um, you know, um, uh, the way you perceive things. Sometimes it's even good to start start doing a new project or even switch um, your field and uh, try something else. So once again, when I'm talking about training your mind to uh, see positive things, as simple as that, when uh, someone keeps uh, telling you that you are a stubborn person, you can simply say that I'm not stubborn, I'm persistent. And this way you can turn and train your mind, you can turn every negative thought into something something inspiring, maybe not completely positive, but at least inspiring, mm -hmm. something that will give you new wave of energy and you, would, you will be able to try something new. Well, that's definitely interesting thought. Uh, can you just give me an example of something that would not be turned into a uh, positive, but will be still turned into something inspiring? And just to make sure that uh, me and uh, our viewers understood you correctly. Oh, like for example, sometimes uh, people are recommended to change what they do on a regular basis in order to achieve more. If you are able to bring knowledge from one sphere to another, you are able to see new things that no one sees. So if you are a visual artist, maybe it's a great deal to uh, start doing something else. For example, music, even though you never tried, you never played, but but your mind will be boosted and rewired to something new, to a new experience, and it will give you this new creative energy, and you will be able to see something you did not see before. Well, I guess our viewers will have to try to look uh, for more information on your <laughs> website. It's a lot. Thank you very much. It's a uh, really inspiring conversation. So creativity and flexibility. We should and remember brainstorm. that. And brainstorm. And <laughs> brainstorm. That's the, actually the book uh, about where you're talking about all this. found that worth watching as much as I did. I'm Mark Unger for Roundtable. Thanks for watching.